that comfortability is really uh, you know matters because once you are in a job and you are having a family commitment then you require uh, your pace you cannot go along with the classroom hello everyone welcome back to another episode today we have swati takur so hi swati how are you doing yeah hi tulsi all good going on okay i'm glad to know that so you have completed the power bi course right yes i completed power bi uh, i completed around 7 months back okay. and uh, i was uh, still pursuing more courses like sql uh, database and advanced uh, excel so yes. likewise i am still pursuing more courses from edureka okay okay i'm really glad to know that and thank you so much for being part of edureka so uh, i just want to know why did you choose edureka for the upskilling uh i was actually uh, from long time i was looking uh, for you know upgrading myself with the latest techs and latest skills mm-hmm. so uh, i came across uh, a friend uh, he referred me that you must go because the uh, content the uh, recordings and everything is so smooth and it is very easily available so that's the reason i uh, choose edureka and you know it's a uh, very comfortable uh, like when you are working and if you want to refer something then immediately you can open the app mobile app and refer and uh, also when you want to complete your study in your pace so that is also very helpful and third thing is the uh, you know the instructors the that facility of uh, instructor for our doubt clearing sessions so that is also really very good and help me a lot okay as you mentioned many of the uh, edureka aspects which you like So, is there any particular one aspect you say which stands out? Uh, I like the uh, way instructor they taught us, and uh, you know how deep dive into our questions and the uh, problems and uh, where we are facing difficulty. And it's not like that. Uh, once we are in the class, and after that, we won't be able to access that thing. After that, also we can access the recordings, and we can go through, and again we can check like. see this was the situation that time uh, the instructor helped us out but somehow if uh, uh, we want to recheck same then the recordings are so useful uh, so that i believe is a really helping one yes yes so that's really great to know so also i want to know how did the skills you learned from edureka helped you uh, in your new job role uh, definitely it's a uh, boosting in my career i would say because uh, uh, i was working previously in you know sql database but you know the skill sets and the advanced uh, techniques that is required so somehow i won't uh, i don't find time you can say or i won't be able to uh, do because of family uh, commitments and responsibility so uh, i was not getting enough time to upgrade myself on on those skill sets so yes. uh, this really helped me uh, in upgrading myself and because of that i landed up in a very good uh, opportunity so i would really uh, like it was really helpful in my case so yes. i consider and i always you know refer out more to edureka i'm very happy to know that in that case can you give us an example how you applied uh, you know what you learned in the real world scenario yeah actually uh, these courses uh, it really helped me a lot reason being uh, you know in report uh, generating of reports mis generations so power bi is a definitely a very uh, you know must have tool which every uh, person should upgrade itself because yeah. it is uh, gone those days when you know power presentation power point here now people uh, want instant result real time results so for that the power bi is really a good one and uh, you know in my current job also when uh, in my profile where i need to present something then i definitely use power bi to present so you know my seniors they are very happy that you are upgraded with the latest skills so yep so it's really uh, helped me a lot in my real time situation as well so would you like to share your overall experience with edureka overall experience uh, like i am very happy and because of that i also enrolled more courses because definitely once we are comfortable and once we are uh, like happy to learn at our pace that comfortability is really uh, you know matters because once you are in a job and you are having a family commitment then you require uh, your pace you cannot go along with the classroom that generally happens in uh, you know other so uh, that is really helpful and apart from that the projects which is being asked at the end of uh, you know the courses for evaluation 
that is also really helpful because through that we know like uh, how, what are the skill sets we are still uh, missing or what all points or what all things we are still missing so because of that we will again go to that recordings we will check and we will uh, present our project so yeah. these hands on projects are really good and you know live application because theoretically and uh, practically these two are the situation but going through a hands on experience the live projects which we are doing that is really helpful yes so overall my experience with the edureka is very good and uh, you know people keeps on reaching me like uh, how you uh, landed up with the job and what all skill sets you upgraded yourself so i share this uh, with them like you must have this 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 and you can go with the edureka their instructors are very good so uh, likewise like things are going on yes yes definitely uh, i also want to know what challenges did you face while transitioning back into the workforce and into a new role uh during my previous role i was uh, having you know basics of uh, sql i will say i was just in the basics so i want to upgrade myself so that i can land up in a advanced role in a more managerial role senior profile i was targeting so in my previous role i was uh, in a banking uh, operation where i used to do the uh, you know uat and uh, checking of the policies and all those things were happening but uh, you know uh, upgrading ourselves with the latest skills is uh, so much important because when i relocated to uh, pune then uh, when i catch up with the uh, interviews then before that i want to prepare myself so much so that if anyone will ask that how we will do this how you will uh, prove yourself in this so i can have a better answer and better position to yes. acknowledge same so uh, that's the reason uh, i want to like go for this yeah uh, and also i want to know like how did you overcome them like uh, any advice or how did you motivate yourself uh motivation like i was always looking for this uh, time i will say because i can totally understand uh, those female who are really struggling in their day to day job they don't find time to upgrade themselves you know a little bit taking break is um, a mere dream because they think if they will take a break then their will career will be at stake but to be very frank and at a serious advice i will give to all those who are having that kind of thought no just give a break upgrade yourself and uh, have a confidence you will definitely land up in a much better place because we overestimate things that's the biggest uh, problem we don't understand our skill set so uh, i would advise everyone you know uh, difficulties are always there but yeah. utilize those things like uh, family commitments are definitely a uh, ongoing part but with along with it upgrading yourself continuously uh, upgrading your skills continuously uh, checking what all new uh, features and new uh, techs are available now that is very important then only you can uh, make available and confirm your seat in this you know competitive world yes yes definitely i agree Uh, as you just mentioned about the career break, so what advice would you give to someone who is currently on a career break and considering we joining the workforce? Yeah, uh, see, a uh, career break is definitely we must have. We just overthink. This is what the situation is with. I know every female who ah uh, who is struggling. Ah, uh, I would just advise them just have a break. But from your schedule, you can just ah uh, take out to one hour, two hour, and ah uh, invest in yourself. and you know investing in knowledge is the best investment because you know ultimately you are investing in your family in your uh, you know the place where you are working so self investment i believe is a very very must which everybody i don't know why it's a like less known thing yeah less known area yeah like uh, people are very uh, shy to get updated these days and uh, people overthink on getting updated these days right yes actually i can uh, quote example from my friend list uh, as well because there are many females who are uh, having a very good position they are already working in a very good position but when it comes about upgrading and thing then they you know they uh, they thinks that if we are already in a comfortable position our family is in comfortable position then why we should go with more so that more is required i think everyone should uh, target for that more after that only you can be you know uh, you will land up in a very good place you mean the so comfort that, zone like, is a main sure. problem exactly exactly comfort zone is a main problem 
so considering my example like i was uh, having a 12.5 years of banking experience entirely and i worked in a avp grade as well but uh, after that i moved uh, uh, to pune i uh, took this break i want to have this break because uh, i want to upgrade myself this was the main motive so i utilized this time and when i had uh, you know interviews when i faced interview so at once i was having a three offer letter in my hand so it was time like i was uh, checking out which where we should land up where we should go and i'm still pursuing because i want to have more so that's the reason i'm still pursuing and still looking for you know courses like python tableau you know i'm still learning all those things yes and also i want to know how is your new a uh, journey going on like your new job role and uh, what is the difference between your old job role and new job role uh in my old job i would say that it was a little bit more monotony uh because same thing we are doing again and again I was not getting enough time to you know uh, change uh, bring a change i will say but yeah. uh, after coming uh, in my new profile here i am a senior specialist and a team lead so uh, i have to definitely work upon various area because uh, you know it's a project wide so i have to work upon but i don't uh, lag behind that so uh, in my new job i would say there is uh, so many things to learn so many things to explore and i keeps on referring things i keep on studying upgrading myself and uh, yeah i am enjoying very much because i don't like monotony much <laughs> so this is really helping me out and i always want to be in a it professional uh, moving from a banking to it professional and seeking for a, a you know a managerial role a senior role so that i am uh, getting it now so it's all uh, because of my upgradation and the courses which i took because it brings me a uh, lots of confidence lots of you know hands on which hands on project which i did i was very much comfortable and confident enough that i will definitely go through it so yeah. that's a case yes i completely agree and it's a quite a journey i must say so uh, mm-hmm. for the people who are in career break or who want to get updated uh, so would you recommend that you take up yeah definitely 110% uh, like uh, people should go and even my friends who are in break i already referred them out that you must come on you you can just have one hour or two hour in your schedule to uh, upgrade yourself ultimately these things are help you it's never like anything goes waste never any knowledge goes waste it is always helpful and as i mentioned invest in yourself this is the very important thing because ultimately you are investing in your uh, family in your workplace in your uh, you know uh, the country because once we are educated we spread that education and knowledge to others so that is the thing so i always uh, ask my f- uh, friends also to just go and invest in yourself keep on studying yes definitely we always have to make ourselves up to date and keep studying uh, so looking back at your journey is there anything you would do differently uh i would have uh, enrolled much earlier this course so that i would have landed up more early in it so this is what uh, i would like uh, to have um rest uh, like in my career i have gone through a various department various uh, various knowledges and various circumstances scenarios everything so that experience definitely holds a very special place but you know putting that experience into a correct place so that it results in a very good result that i think now i am able to achieve that same so uh, as i said it's quite a journey so what lesson have you learned that you would like to share with our audience a uh, lesson uh, i would say same thing like uh, we understand that family commitments and that plays very important role in case of every female i believe because uh, once you are married once you are having a kid then you are so much uh, involved in all the in our family that uh, we don't take time for ourselves and we keep on uh, you know running through uh, that same thing okay fine i am very much comfortable like everything is settled down my kids are happy my families are happy even i am also happy with the same uh, you know job and everything so uh, the lesson which i would like to take is like i am having two daughters so during that my entire uh, tenure i would say in my career journey i was always having that i must upgrade myself i want to learn more i want to you know earn more 
So yeah. that couldn't be possible because anyway, I have to keep back to uh, settle my family, to help my kids, to, you know, everything. So that's the reason. But uh, what I uh, want is if I would have taken up this decision of uh, learning and taking break and learning much uh, before, like six years before, then I would have been in much better position. This is what I feel. Yes, yes. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your journey and your experience as well. It is really, uh, you know, appreciable and inspiring. And thank you again for joining in today. Yeah, thank you so much, Tulsi. Thank you. Yes, it's been a great chat. But we'll come up with next episode. Have a great time all. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye.